This question or comment comes to us from Steve Hands in Oracle, Arizona. And his comment is, after watching Ashley's uh, lesson, and we're looking at right hand, once we get the left hand on there, he said, shouldn't we maybe be concentrating more on what our right hand's doing? Well, that's basically pretty much most of what I feel. I started with this hand because when I came out of baseball, even though my left hand was holding the club, even, on a baseball bat, I didn't, you know, my little finger was off the bat. So I, unless I was trying to make sure I got a hit, and then I'd choke down because I had a little more control of the bat. But it was more about, it was more about what, my, what my right arm was doing and how my right arm was delivering the bat than it was with my left arm. So I, I, didn't hit, I didn't hit baseballs where I stood there and swung like this. I also didn't throw balls up and hit it with my left arm. I threw balls up and hit baseballs like this. I never threw them up and hit them with my left. I, I've not talked to too many people who were right-handed in baseball who, if they threw a ball up to hit it with one arm, did they throw it up with their right hand and try to hit it with their left. So everything I did was more from this side, okay? When I started, and his question was, why do we have to overlock, overlap or interlock our grip? Why can't we just use a 10 finger? There's no reason why you can't. I mean, that's, that's what I started with and I was pretty good. I won our state open, I was a college All-American with a 10 finger grip. My left hand was stronger, I had a 10 finger grip, I took it back and even today I go out and I put 10 fingers on there, boom. I mean, I, it's, it feels really strong and really good. Why don't I go back to it? I spent my whole career with this finger on top or these interlock. Now the interlock I hated because I have big hands, it didn't feel right. I know it melts your hands together a little more. Putting my little finger over the top of my index finger, my left hand, to me it just, my hands feel more as one. But I can stand there and ten finger it and hit it and it feels fine. So most people when they come to me, especially beginners, when I put their hands on the club, because I'll go from beginners, most beginners I start with a split grip, so they start to feel how to lever the club and so the handle starts to work this way. Rather than dragging the thing and trying to hit it like this, they start to feel this lever system. And then I move their hands in closer until their right palm goes on the back of their thumb. So where's, so where's their grip? It's ten finger. So it's like this. And it's in their fingers, if you see this, my knuckles, these two knuckles and these line up. Now what's interesting is I've seen on TV a grip that has a reminder in it and they show a guy putting his hands on the club and they've got the reminder grip going right here in the thing, down here in this, instead of in this part, it's going here. And then when he closes down, okay, and he puts his hands here, you see the knuckles don't, these knuckles, these are on this side and these are on the, the knuckles don't line up. See, so but the ten finger, that's how I started because it was, it was baseball. The only thing I changed was in baseball, your, my thumb's out here, so I put my thumb in there, ten finger grip, that's how I hit it. I still hit balls like that occasionally, it feels great. Again, why don't I go back to it? Well, I spent my whole career with my hands a little closer together so they feel a little bit more like they're working together. But initially, for most people, a ten finger grip is a really way, good way to go. You don't have to overlap or interlock your fingers. There's three grips relative to your finger. And then there's double overlap, which is what Furyk uses. So he overlaps two fingers. So you've got two fingers, one finger, interlock, ten finger. There's good players who have used all those grips. Initially, with your hands and a ten finger grip, your right hand has a little bit more control of the club because all your fingers are on the club instead of taking your little finger off. So it's on there. So it has a little bit more ability to control the club and makes it a little easier for you to swing. A lot of people can create a lot more speed with a ten finger than they can overlapped or interlocked.
Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.